stuff after the shenanigans. I can't believe it's still like an ongoing thing. I'm kind of getting tired of like talking about it now, but we're back. Anyone that's still hanging around, thank you so much for hanging around waiting. I don't think anyone will be. We'll continue on for the Mimilax team for a little bit to see what we can do with this. We've got David up next from Spain. It's the next opponent, so we'll kick straight into it. And they're playing the team of Groudon, Manitrick, uh, Manibas, Bronzong, Gengar, and Kyoga. So dual primals. Bronzong uh, going to be the main kind of speed control here. You're going to have Tailwind from the Mandibus for sure. Um, Mim Mimikyu. Mimikyu could be quite good here. We've got the Taunt for the Bronzong, uh, Taunt for the Mandibus. We can really cause that Gengar loads of problems here. Um, so we just got Persian as well. Like Persian might not be bad because the, the, the fake out, the Z parting shot is also quite nice. Um, or the Z file play even if we want um, I think if we can get Snorlax into a position here it could do some work and between Persian and Mim Mimikyu we should be able to deal with the Bronzong pretty handily and then my friends I think we would maybe go Groudon yeah let's go Groud let's go Groudon let's go Groudon let's see hopefully yeah, and just, just so, so, so sorry about any internet issues that I'm having at the minute. Like, you know, like, it's been fine all week. And then the one day I do decide to stream, it's like, obviously, this this happens. It's like, the, the powers that be do not want it to happen. But we'll persist, we'll play on. We're playing a bit of a fun team tonight anyway, so it's, it should be a lot of fun. I'm going to see the Groudon and Manetric come in. My opponent doesn't want to bring the um, the Gengar out up top, so I'm going to go with the Mega Manetric in this one. Uh, cycle those. I mean, we've got a pretty safe Trick Room set up here now if we want to. I mean, we can just parting, sh parting shot out into the Groudon um, and Trick Room, really. Um... I think I'm just going to do that, actually. Just part and shut the Groudon. I don't think... Like, the, does the Groudon protect here? I'm going to see the Manetric Mega Evolve. So it's going to get the Intimidate off. Just fine. Just fine for how we want to operate. Um, so we'll get the... There's the Vault Switch. Okay, where are you going? Into the Mimikyu. It's fine. So our disguise is bust, but we'll get the parting shot next onto the Groudon. Oh, Bronzong coming in. Okay. I wonder if it's going to go Gravity Hypnosis. That could be a little bit of a, a problem for us. Uh, Snorlax is going to come in and take potentially a precipice blades here that's what i would imagine and block hi how are you doing mate uh, thanks for joining us tonight i don't know if you were here earlier but uh, i do appreciate you coming back and hanging around for the stream tonight so we do get the trick room up and ufc fan how are you doing i hope you're well my friend thanks for joining us tonight we had some technical issues just now so it has meant that we weren't able to uh Get the stream up and going. Um, I think what we'll do is switch in Persian. So we've got the fake out the next turn. Um, and yeah, I do. I really do want to. I do want a belly drum here, just to make use of this trick room. Because it, like Snorlax is going to be in a position now where it can take attacks from Groudon. Um, the Bronzong may go for. It could go a skill swap here as well. That's a thing to get rid of the 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 ground weakness on the Groudon. But the Persian coming in here does give us a bit of alle alleviation. And thank you so much for the Kyogre spread. You're very welcome, my friend. I hope it's working out. Hypnosis. Ah, oh, and there's a Precipice Blades. Okay. <laughs> I'm living dangerously here. These Hypnosis coming out. Um, Alright. We can go... Oh, I think we have to fake out the Bronzong. And... Hmm. It's a little bit tricky because the, the Groudon probably protects here. We'll go for the high horsepower anyway. Yeah, guard and protect. They're going to go for another hypnosis, which hopefully they don't get. And we could have doubled the bronze on for sure. But I think one thing we could potentially do is go for. Um, 
Can we go for the Z move into the bronze zone? Or do we just go for... I just feel like the bronze zone is going to go skill swap now. That's the thing. I think we'll go parting shot into the ground on again. Um, oh, do I go high horsepower or recycle? I think recycle here. We'll play the long game. Ground I'm going to withdraw. We're going to see... What are we going to see come in? The net trick come back in. Okay. I got top 8 at Detona with one of your Kyogre YouTube spread. That is amazing, man. That is so good. And you are so welcome. I'm just happy it worked out for you, man. That is amazing. The Tailwind Trick Room one. That's awesome news, man. Thank you so much. That's made my day. That's really great to hear. Um, no, that's awesome. Like, yeah, I'm really pleased. And top 8 Daytona, that's, that's incredible. Like, really incredible. So, um, we've got to stop pressuring the bronze song, I think. We've got, hmm. Yeah, and if you bring in ground on, we've got the Precipice Blaze we could go for. We could go for the Eruption as well. They've kind of got to go for the Blind Hypnosis if they want to do anything. Unless, I'm not really paying attention here. I've been sidetracked. Unless the bronze has gone to reverse the trick room here. Which it could potentially do. Makes sense against attacking this Snorlax. Mm. Yeah, Z. Z Trick Room, I think, is incoming. But I mean, we're in such a nice position now, unless they do have the Kyogre in the back, which I presume they probably do. Um. So we could just cover our bases by going Eruption and checking the Kyogre if it comes in. Galaxian God, thank you so much for the subscribe, my friend. I hope it has popped through. Um, there it is. There it is. Thank you so much for the sub, mate. really means a lot. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the stream since we are back now. So yeah, the Kyogre going to come in, going to try and disrupt our Eruption here, which makes a lot of sense. Um, but we will get the return off into the Minetric slot. Uh, Groudon's not in the best position, but I mean, oh, oh, right, we're going that way, are we? I mean, it's not enough to pick up the, the KO, but we do, our eruption does fail. The return here should get the Minetric. Yeah, okay, that's good, so. Um, man, okay. I mean, one of the things with Hidden Power Water, it's a nice tech, but, like, if you're not guaranteeing... The knockout onto Groudon. We're not even running the bulkiest of Groudons here. Uh, problem is now, uh, Snorlax doesn't really want to enjoy taking a water spout. We'll bring in Mimikyu. Um, and we'll go for the return into Kyogre. We'll see if we can get it. If you can, I can link you my QR code. Don't want to steal anything away from your screen now. That would be cool, man. Definitely link the QR code. 100%. That would be great. We should take this water spout with Snorlax. Yeah, just about. And get that berry. So that recycle earlier on was, was super, super handy. Uh, the bronze one's going to be a bit tricky because the eruption is really weakened now. Um, we avoid again. We get away with it. Okay, so we should get the Kyogre now. Snorlax doing its thing. Okay, this is good. This is good. Yeah, but UFC fan, please share the QR code. I'm sure everyone would enjoy to see it, and I sure would. Uh, we can get the Groudon in now. We should be faster than the opposing Groudon, um, and we still threaten with uh, Snorlax. I mean, bringing in Persian here could have been probably a better choice, I think, uh, just for the fake out support that we've got there. Um, but Persian should actually be able to kind of clean this one up because I don't fear that Gra uh, Groudon can take down Snorlax. It's just the fact that um, Eruption's probably not powerful enough to get the Bronze on from here. Like, heck no, it's not. Um, so I'm going to go Earth Power into the Groudon. Uh, we've got to dodge another... Ah, we've got to dodge another... Um, hypnosis, which is a, a bit of a pain. But you've got to fear what this Groudon's going to do to the Bronzong. We'll get the Earth part. I don't know if it'll be enough. That's the big thing. Is it going to be enough? It's not enough. Okay, it's not enough. Precipice Blades. We'll get our Groudon and do some nice damage to Snorlax. Maybe it would have been better going for a Recycle here. In hindsight. 
And of course it hits now. But I mean, the, the Groudon is in a really awkward position because can the Bronzong pick up the knockout onto the Snorlax? I think the thing, what you probably have to do here is, hmm. So I don't want Persian. Ah, we should take a Precipice Blades. We should take a Precipice Blades. It's just whether or not our Z move can get the bronze on, which I really don't think it can. Um, and if we can't, then that's... That's the bad thing. Like, foul play is the play into Groudon all day, but the Groudon protects. Bronzong probably tries to put the Persian to sleep. In that case, we could taunt. We could taunt uh, the Bronzong. It's just we leave the Groudon unchecked, and if it does go for a Precipice Blades here, it could take Snorlax down. Um, I'm just going to foul play the Groudon, and I'm going to try and recycle with Snorlax. Oh, we're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. Uh, we've run out of time. The Groudon does protect here. So we just bottle it completely. I think there's the thing, like, we knew what we needed to do. We needed to taunt the Bronzong, because if it puts Persian to sleep here, I mean, okay. It's gone for the... I mean, if Snorlax wakes up, that would be amazing. No. Okay, so I think you go Hypnosis there, to be honest. Optimally. You've got to do it, because now we just foul play the Groudon. Um, we do lock into Recycle. Don't lock into Belly Drum again. And uh, we should... We should be able to close this one up. But Snorlax has done all right in this one again. Still, uh, grabbing one for the double protect, not getting it. Yeah, I still think the, the Hypnosis probably would have been the better play. Um, even Trick Room, just to get around the Persian, would have been maybe a little bit better to do. Because, yeah, we get the Recycle now. And the Bronzong. I mean... Are you going Trick Room now? Because you just can't beat the Snorlax, I don't think, now. Yeah, it's going Trick Room. I think it's like a little a turn too late to do that. You either had to do that the previous turn. And then hope that you... Well, going for the Double Protect. I mean, it probably would have sealed it. Uh, we can Z. I mean, one of the things I'd probably better off doing is just taunting the Bronzong. Um, let's see how much it returned us. We saw earlier how much it did to a stack attacker and it did nothing. But we'll just see the forfeit there. So good game to my opponent. And... Um, we do get a little a little bit fortunate with some hypnosis misses earlier on, but I mean that's the I think that's how you kinda have to expect. It's not always gonna hit, is it? It's not the most accurate of moves. And we know what precipice blades and origin pulse are like. And they are a lot more accurate, so <laughs> Right, we'll jump into our next one. Fingers crossed we don't have any more um Internet issues. I'm really hoping we don't. But this team's been pretty fun. If you guys want a pace of this team to take away and play with, have a bit of fun with. We've got Nick again. He's back. I wonder if he's not on the stream, though. He's not in the chat right now. So, well, uh, it's going to be the best of three, isn't it? It is the best of three against Nick. So we know what to expect from the, you know, the, the, the cresselia has got the mental herb there. Um, so we can't approach it like that. Um, so there's not really much getting around the trick room, to be honest. Uh, but we could use Persian. Mm. And Mimikyu. Do we want Mimikyu here? Because Persian's pretty decent. Salamence is good as well. Um. I kind of like Snorlax, just in case the Trick Room does go up. But then the Amoongus becomes a problem as well. Um... Let's bring Groudon, and do we bring Mimikyu here, or do we bring Salamence? I feel Salamence with the Intimidate support is pretty nice. Um, yeah, we'll go for that, we'll go for that. Good luck, Nick, have fun, and uh, UFC fan has posted his QR code of his top 8 Daytona regional team, which is incredible, and incredibly kind of him. So, guys, it is there in the chat right now. Check it out, try it out, and uh, I'm sure you'll have a lot of success with it. And UFC fan, I enjoy a lot of your content both on YouTube and Twitch. It really helped me a lot in prepping for regional. Thank you so much, man. Uh, that really is super nice to hear. And just massive congratulations for such a good finish and really tough regional as well with some, like, a field of, like, incredible players. So you did amazingly well, man. Um, and just thank you for coming on and just sharing it because there's no need you didn't ever need to do that. But uh, that, is, that is super nice of you to do. We're going to see the Kyogre and the Crest come out, so we can 
just go fake out into Cress and I mean we switching Groudon here we could do that I mean one of the things we could potentially do is just fake out uh, the Kyogre let the Cress do what it wants and Belly Drum because then we make it really awkward for him like Kyogre's gonna switch out what are we gonna see come in Moa okay I don't mind this too much especially if the Cress goes Trick Room which I don't know if it's going to, though. Would you set the trick room up? I mean, it makes sense to set the trick room up here. Skill swap. Oh. Don't like that. Taking our gluttony away. Giving us levitate? We don't like that, Nick. <laughs> I know, Galaxian God, yeah. Always run into... Nick's like... Nick loves the... Uh, I think love's coming on. We play quite a bit when we do streams. It's it's kind of nice. Ha. Ah, okay. I think what we could potentially do is go parting shot into the more while. We can put it down to minus two, which Snorlax should then be able to get some sort of health back, I think. Um, and we'll go for the, the crest with a return. Um, more while is mega evolving. Where are you going, more while? Minus two, we should. Come on, we should take a minus two Iron Head play rough. There's the first one. And we'll get the, the Salamence onto the field this next turn. And that should proc our berry with Snorlax, even though we haven't got the Gluttony. We want to hold off bringing Groudon in. Unless Nick's brought both Groudon and Kyogre. We know he's got the Kyogre from leading with it against ourselves. So we do get the minus two into the Mawile. There's the Ice Beam. Scouting out that switch in, which makes a lot of sense. Yep. Yeah. Salmon takes it. It's worth it though if we can take this. Yeah, and there's our berry. Okay, so we could have went for uh, high horsepower for sure, but I think it's nice to be able to kind of remove the crest, which is such a big threat to us right now. Oh, it survives! Barely, but it's in range now for uh, Salamence. Do we actually hyper voice here? I mean, we can do. Because I think one thing we could do is just high horsepower the mobile. We know we're not going to get taken down by it. We can hyper voice. They've got to sucker punch the Salamence to kind of protect the Cresselia here. And I don't mind that sacrifice. And Dynamus, how are you doing? I hope you're well. A nice team. Yes. Uh, see you C fan. Everyone appreciates it. It's amazing that you have shared that. So thank you so much for that. And um, Dynamus, thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you're well. Hope you enjoy the stream with us this evening. Okay, so Ment's going down. I think it's a worthy sacrifice here. As long as you get the high horsepower. We do hit. Okay, I'm always worried about it. I know it generally is decent accuracy compared to most things, but I do worry about it missing sometimes. And let's get nice. A mobile. I hope Mega Mobile is still good in this format. It is really good in this format. Um, I, I do like it quite a lot. Um... But yeah, I think it's hard to utilize Hard Trick Room with it. Um, because of all the Dark types and the Ghost types now that you didn't see in 16, I think it does become a little bit more tricky. Going to see Groudon hit the field now. Um, and Kyogre coming alongside it. We'll be able to see a little bit of speed tearing here. Depending who gets the... Uh, so the Groudon's slower than that Kyogre. Yeah, the Kyogre's pretty useless now. It can only Ice Beam. Um, and Snorlax and Persian don't really care about the Ice Beam. It's just the Groudon is going to be the main thing that we need to concentrate getting rid of now. Um, so we should be able to close this one out. I think I might spend this turn actually just faking the Groudon out. And going for the Recycle. Oh, do we go for the Recycle though? Because we've not got the Gluttony anymore. Um... Let's go return into Kyogre. Pinko, how are you doing? Why does Snorlax get high horsepower? I know, right? Guard, I'm going to protect. Kyogre going to protect? No. Okay. We're just going to see it try and chip. Uh... Ooh, Thunder. <sighs> That's a bit risky in the sun. Um, yeah, so there's a Kyogre gone, and now it's, it's done. It's done. It's like a big cat. It is like a big cat. I've never actually thought about that. Oh, yeah, and the Snorlax has Levitate now, so it's not even... It doesn't even care, does it? It really doesn't care. Um, we'll just foul play the Snorlax. 
and uh, high horsepower big cat that's that's the name of our Snorlax that's the nickname we should do it yeah I completely forgot we had levitate but yeah Snorlax <laughs> the most ridiculous Snorlax in the world imagine if it actually got this there's a high horsepower it should pick up the knockout yeah and good game Nick so um, we are able to pick up a little bit of a win so that's nice and Snorlax is almost like a restricted apart from its special attack and speed it's basically got god stats the god horse cat Pokemon <laughs> it is the god horse cat Pokemon it definitely is you are right though it's got such high base stats I think the normal typing as well really helps it out a lot you know it's only got like the one weakness which is incredible it's got some nice immunities as well which are handy in this format especially with the like we've been saying the ghost typing as well um, so it's definitely something uh, I would definitely recommend trying out. And like, like I said the, earlier, if you guys weren't around, um, if you guys want a paste of this team to try out, take away, try for yourself. I will. I'll put that together, and I can I can post that up on Twitter later on. You can you can have a go with it. So we've got Birdgeist as our next opponent. Uh, Zernia, Smeagol, Salamence, Finny, Groudon, and Tapuco. So, um, hmm. Persian could be good here. We need to be a little bit careful with this Coco. Um, there's a part of me that thinks mm, maybe the Coco's got the Ferrinium. Uh, but we... Hmm. I mean, we could actually go Mimikyu rather than Persian. Or we could go both, to be honest. Uh, I definitely think we need Salamence here just for the Groudon. Uh, the Intimidate's nice. We need to be careful around this Xerneas though. That's the big big problem that's that's kind of i'm leaning more towards the persian i mean persian mimikyu isn't bad i kind of want groudon it's not yeah we'll go groudon snorlax okay i don't like that i'm leaving salamence behind but at the same time uh, we might be alright. And if my opponent brings either of the Tapus, then they're kind of protecting us against potentially the Smeagol putting us to sleep. So that's kind of, that's kind of good. Um, new Big Six. <laughs> the floating cat Snorlax. We could do it. Good game, Nick. Can we get a game three in? Uh, Nick, keep searching, my friend. I would love a game three tonight. Uh, yeah, good game as well, my friend. Uh, Will, get up the ladder so you can match up with me, Scrub. Will, I'm trying, man. My internet isn't allowing me. It's been, <laughs> it's been the worst. Right, we've got Tapu Koko, we got Smeagol. Um, I mean, we can just taunt the Smeagol and go for a fake out into Koko here. That's pretty safe. And shutting down the Smeagol early, early doors is always a nice thing to be able to do. We'll get the fake out into the Koko there. And there's a taunt into the Smeagol, unless it is Mental Herb. But it... Nah, it tries to transform. Wow, okay. It's pretty useless now, so it's fine. We don't need to worry about the Coco. We can parting shot. Or we could potentially just... Mm. Like I say, though, I do worry about the Coco potentially having um, the Ferinium, which would be terrible for, uh, for a good old Persian here, but... I think one thing we could potentially do is just parting shot out and Smeagol. If we lose Persian here, then we get a free switch into Snorlax. So, Tepu Finny going to hit the field. What is it going to be? Is it like Z Nature Power Coco? The Normalium Z. No, it just doesn't gleam. Hopefully we can take this. Come on, Persian. Be a boss! Okay, we can take it. That's fine. That's good. That's good. The Finny coming in, though, does make me worry about his for sure so we might want to put off belly drumming a turn and we can potentially just high horsepower this the the coco and taunt the finny Krim, you're back everyone's back this is good i'm sorry about the disconnect earlier as well guys my broadband as you all are aware is absolutely trash when it shouldn't be the weird thing is it's been amazing all week um and the one night I do decide to do a stream, it, it decides to go go wrong. Um, okay, we'll taunt into the Finny. We'll go high horsepower into the, the Coco. I'm not sure because we're so bulky with Snorlax if we get the Coco with the high horsepower. But any damage right now is pretty nice. We just need to be able to kind of shut down the, the Haze option on this Finny. 
which I'm, I really think it's got high horsepower. Yeah, it's not enough to get the car car, unfortunately. There's the haze. Yeah. So we'll be able to stop this now with a taunt, and then the next time we can belly drum. Ooh, Z move. It's a gigavolt. Okay. <laughs> Nick, you're so right. I know. I know I shouldn't talk about it. We've discussed this before. Me discussing things that happen in game tend to happen in game. We need to be more positive. Wow. I mean, we take that pretty well, don't we? Um, hmm. Maybe a Shadow Claw? What's my opponent got to bring in? So they've got the Smeagol, so they could bring that in here. Um. I'm just going to Shadow Claw, Claw Claw, and I'm going to go for the Belly Drum. I mean, they probably bring in Smeagol where the Finny is. That would be my best guess. I just want a Belly Drum. Just want a Belly Drum. And we'll see what we can do from this point. Finny out, Smeagol in. Yeah. Coco out. Okay. Groudon in. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Fake out is a bit of a pain in the next turn. And this is where the Ments would have been really great to bring in. Like, honestly, the Ments would have been incredible. And we do get the Belly Drum up. Uh, Krim, so we're actually max speed jolly um, Mimikyu with uh, yeah, with Jolly Nature, Max Speed. Um, and so you've got the fast taunt, but then the more I think about it, you know, the um, we could have done with a speed boost there from Smeagol. That would have been incredible. Um, yeah, the more I think about it, the it's probably better. We're probably better off going for um, something a bit different with all the Scarf Lele that you're seeing at the in the format at the minute, right. Um, hmm. We still could go for a taunt into the Smeagol. So how many turns of Trick Room? We got two, okay. We got two turns of Trick Room. They can't put us to sleep. Um, we still got a Berry, so we can high horsepower into the Groudon. There's a Fake Out. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Right on Swords Dancing, so we get it. Okay, that's fine. Now, I think the next turn they're going to switch the Smeagol out for sure. Protect Groudon. Because <sighs> Groudon is in a, a world of trouble right now. We'll bring in Persian. Um, do we just attack into the Smeagol? I don't know if we. Hmm. I feel like it's probably better attacking into the Smeagol slot. It's just the Groudon probably. It's just I, I don't want to be punished for not attacking into the Groudon. And we got the Persian coming in the next turn. So I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to go for the Groudon. The, the Finny comes in for sure. Oh, it's a type of Coco. Okay. I mean, that's it's fine. If we can get the Groudon here, I mean, that is, that's incredible. I just dodged two sleep powders and they rage quit. <laughs> yeah, the Groudon, okay. I think the one thing that we didn't want to do there though was actually kill what came in on that Smeagol slot, unless it was the Finny. Because then we give uh, the Smeagol a free, a free kind of switch in, which is never ideal. Uh, we can fake out Groudon um, in high horsepower as well. Right on retreating, okay. Makes sense. Smeagol coming in. Uh, we'll be able to get rid of the Smeagol, which is fine. Uh, Coco actually protecting here, so we're actually going to get to keep Persian for another turn. And a berry is not even propped with Snorlax yet, so that's that's really nice. Um, okay, so Smeagol gone. 
Just psych up on the Mimikyu Lee. Be that guy. Be me. <laughs> it is a nice option, man. It really is. I'm thinking, like, maybe Sash on Mimikyu could be good just to get around the Moon Guy's beam. Uh, like, just to really guarantee that trick room that you kind of need. And Real Minishian, I'm sorry. No, I'm not in Germany this weekend. I'm really sad about it. But I'll be rooting for you and the rest of the guys over the weekend. Definitely. I'm looking forward to watching it. Sad I'm not there. Um, Finny coming in. We can't avoid the the um, we can't avoid the haze now for sure. But we're gonna see a dazzling gleam. I kind of want to keep Persian around for the ground on later. I'm just gonna go for a return into the core core just to get rid of it. Yeah, there's the dazzle. Okay, and the Finny definitely is gonna haze. But we, I mean. We've had a berry with Snorlax. We could have went for the re recycle there. But we still have a Z move with Mimikyu, which is kind of nice because if the Groudon does decide to go for. Huh. D attack. Like, we could Z Destiny Bond here and recycle. I think I'm kind of tempted to do that. Z Destiny Bond Recycle. Let's try it. And Moonguys doesn't hit through Mimi's ability. Yeah, I think it does, Nick. I think Moonguys Beam hits through the disguise. That's why it's kind of dangerous for us. I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, that's why the Sash would be nice there. And the real munition. You're playing 17 and 9. I know, right? <laughs> real throwback. I'm hoping the Groudon attacks here. I hope it presses his blades. Because if it does, then we kind of just win the game. Yeah, there we go. And it didn't miss the Mimikyu, which is the best thing ever. Please take the Mimikyu down. It does. Okay, bye-bye, Groudon. Excellent. The one time where you're, like, actually wishing for your opponent's press of his blades to hit, you're like, come on, please hit. Please hit this one. So Groudon down. Mimikyu doing its job. Snorlax doing a decent job as well. Uh, Moonblast going into nothing. And we can... We can have a little bit of fun now, I think, because we can see how much an eruption... Can we get the, the Finny with two eruptions? I don't think we can, but we can definitely try. We can definitely have a go. But the Snorlax Mimikyu's not doing too bad. It's not doing too bad at all, really, is it? Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. Will, will you guys be what for those of you that aren't in Berlin this weekend? Will you be watching the stream tomorrow? Uh, catching up on it later tomorrow night or over the weekend? Um, I have no idea what to expect. I think there's going to be some crazy teams. I think there's going to be some mad teams and mad techs and stuff that we've not seen yet. I do expect to see a lot of good stuff. There's going to be stuff that we've probably seen a lot of the time. There's so many good players that are going, it's crazy. Uh, the real munition can't root for me if I'm not playing, but in the sea. Oh well, man. I hope you're just having a great time over there, and I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, it's a nice, it's such a lovely city. Um, okay, let's go for, I mean, what's the Finny doing here? Um, foul play, and just precipice. And that should be enough, that should be enough. And Foddy Synthesis, how are you doing? Thanks for joining the stream tonight with us. What about Goth? think it could be good in this format. I do actually. I do think it could be good. Again, it, it struggles a little bit like Cresselia. Like it does really, it doesn't like the dark types and the increasing ghost types that we've got now in the format. It is a lot harder to use. So you need a lot more dedicated support for it. Like redirections, almost a must to like always secure your kind of trick room setup, which you are really needing with Gothitel. But Gothitel Mobile is a, a common um, partnership that we've seen in past formats do really well. Uh, good game to my opponent as well, by the way. Um, so I do think it has a lot of potential, um, and it could work really well. I think that the the advantage that Gothitelle has over Mega Gengar is it instantly traps your opponent in, um, which is which is super nice. Um, and like it really does help you kind of lock down those those matchups. I think Gothitelle Veltal could be nice um, as an option. Um, Gothitelle Veltal Kyogre kind of works similar to how the Mega Gengar works there. But 
it's still a little bit tricky. But yeah, and then you play more while with it as well. Yeah, you know. And real <laughs> Minishian, Newcastle have escaped relegation, which I'm so thankful for. But it's kind of the realization now that Rafa Benitez could be leaving, which is a little bit sad. Um, and I just hope they renew his contract. I hope big, big fat Mike, if you're listening, not that he would ever be. He might be a crazy Pokemon fan. You never know. <laughs> he might be in the chat. Imagine if he was. My wish is just give Rafa what he wants and sign him. Or I'm banning you from the chat. Yeah, there you go, Mike. Uh, UFC fan, Goth, Ivalto Grado, maybe. Yeah, that could be really nice. Stops Rick Hazard from switching in. Yeah, I think that's like a really nice, really nice option there. Um, the Groudon Mawile is kind of interesting as well. Um, and Ivalto Groudon is always something I, I absolutely love. And you could play Misty Seed Ivalto. So you've got Tailwind support there with maybe a mix like a middling speed Groudon which can work in Trick Room Tailwind depending on what you're going up against and you've got the the options there I think to play around with that quite well because you've got the trap um, you probably need re redirection for sure Amoongus could work for sure Ockerberry, Sash, something like that uh, so yeah, loads of options and the real munition uh, Rafa Benitez is the world champ for 2019 <laughs> I wish, <laughs> could you imagine I reckon if Rafa Benitez played Pokemon he'd be absolutely amazing because he's like the master tactician, right if he played Pokemon he'd be incredible be like, yeah, he'd be world champion probably do like a rare Rizzo, like three years in a row or something crazy like that he'd be the oldest world champion in existence and Nick, someone clip this <laughs> <laughs> for redirection could Smeagol work? Definitely, I think so. Like Smeagol's really nice as well. It's got the immunity to the ghost, so the, the follow me is super nice there. And the real munition, yeah, football manager should play it. A hundred percent. I would pay to watch that. We've got our next opponent, they're playing Shininja. Yay! Awesome. It doesn't look like the soak there, so that's that's nice. Uh, Incineroar, Salamon, Xerneas, Groudon, Lele. Lele is the problem here, obviously. Uh, but we can go Mimikyu. Um, it's got Mimikyu, Ooh, Snorlax, uh, we'll go Salamence and then the, the Groudon and we'll see what we can do. Uh, I don't like that I've not bought uh, Persian up front because then if the Xerneas comes out as a lead we've kind of left ourselves a little bit exploited by the, the Geomancy setup. I mean we can get the Trick Room up, get the Belly Drum up if they do decide to do that so it's not the end of the world but I mean kind of prefer to prevent the geomancy rather than allowing it to be set up and then dealing with it after that but that's just me as a player we're going to see the, the Lele and the Xerneas come out um, you have to see I do have to say that Smeagol fell off the map at the regional didn't face one, a single one wow yeah I think it has but it's still got such good utility hasn't it it's crazy how good it is I still think I think it's one of those things that probably as the format progresses develops a little bit we'll probably see a little bit more of it as we go on Scotty how are you doing hope you're well my friend and having a good day and uh, thanks for hopping in with us tonight uh, just tuned in when did Mimlax come back throwback th throwback Thursday indeed my friend right let's go should we just go full on let's just go for it balls deep trick room belly drum we're just going for it. We're not bottling it here. We're just going to do it. Ah. Uh, that's what happens. Scarf taunt. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 it could be worse. It could be hella worse. Because that Lele is definitely scarfed. It's locked into taunt. We get the belly drum off. We're not in any danger of getting killed from the Xerneas. Um, we can still Z move if we want to. Uh, we could Z move into the Lele, to be honest. I mean, what probably comes in there? Let's have a look at the team. Because it's likely the Incineroar. Well, does the Incineroar come in? Or the Ments? Or the Shininja? Shininja. I mean, we could just Z move into it as well. Z move into the Lele. And let's just return into the, the Xerneas. Let's do it. Best Tapu on the field. What the Mimikyu will. I would definitely agree with you if that was the case. Oh, wow, we actually outspeed the Lele, so we could... It's not even scarfed. We could have actually just went for the taunt into a turn one. Which is a little bit sad. We're not seeing a Protect come out from the, uh, the Xerneas, though. If this Lele is not scarfed, I think we're in a good position to clear the field here. Which would be incredible for us. Is it... Is it... It's gone! 
Excellent, excellent. Memes in <laughs> memes incoming, a hundred percent. Okay, another dazzle. That's fine. Uh, Snorlax return. Bye bye, dear. Yeah. Okay, this is working out. Uh, no, it can't be a speed tie, Nick, uh, because I'm running max speed, jolly Mimikyu. So it was for that reason, to kind of get the jump on Lele. But like I was saying before, I think it's not as relevant now because of the... Oh, man, you bring the Shininja as well. Oh. <laughs> okay, it could Shadow Sneak us, for sure. Um, but I think I think we'll be fine now, won't we? I, yeah, I just think we'll be, we'll be all right. And we'll shed a claw and we'll go high horsepower into the, the incident. I mean, we've got Groudon in the back, so it should all be fine, shouldn't it? Uh, yeah, so Mimi is base 96, so it will hit like 161, I think. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... Has he got Sash? It's likely to have Sash, yeah. Yeah, there it is. What's it doing there? I wonder what we're gonna see. There's the Flare Blitz into... Okay, thank you. I wonder if we see a Toxic into the Snorlax. I mean, it's pretty hopeless now. It's, yeah, I'm just... Oh, will it? Maybe not. Maybe not. But, I mean, Groudon just comes in and just does the, the job, doesn't it? A horsepower, so... Ah, uh, like, Snorlax is, like, burned. I don't care. Like, burn me. Burn me. Just fire me up. I'm gonna do the job anyway. It's, it's fine. Um, yeah, let's get... Oh, well, who do we want to give glory? Let's give glory to... Mm, yeah, let's just go Groudon. <laughs> Definitely using guts. <laughs> hey, Kim, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Hope you enjoyed the stream of this tonight. Good Snorlax. It would be pretty decent, actually. It would be pretty bad for the uh, the berry proc, though, wouldn't it? No guts, no glory. 100%. To be fair, if you're not running like a belly drum set, like a curse gut set could be decent uh, with heal plus support. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Um, I mean, Snorlax is pretty useless here. I mean, we could just... Nah, I'm not I'm not, I'm not. not going to play around. I was going to high horsepower our Groudon, but I feel like it could protect there and it would all go wrong. But good game to my opponent. With facade and lax, facade, yeah. Remember those days, the hard throwbacks today. It is, isn't it? It's good. I'm enjoying it. I hope you guys are as well. You know, I was like sitting before coming on live, thinking, what can I play tonight? I did mention earlier on on one of the comments on the YouTube that I play banded lax, uh, banded Rayquaza, but I couldn't quite finish a build, and I didn't really want to play something that's kind of. Kind of in the circle at the minute because we're doing that with the Rayquaza team on YouTube. Uh, I felt like I want to play something a little bit different. I haven't played any Kyogre yet. Now, we will be playing Kyogre on the channel next week, so I'll probably bring Kyogre to the stream next week for sure. Um, and depending what time the stream is on Saturday for the... La, the European internationals I might do a Saturday morning stream but if it clashes I'm obviously not going to do it because I don't want to like everyone wants to watch that so uh, we've got TA Watts as uh, our next opponent as politely as I can put that uh, so we've got Groudon, Incineroar, Thinny, Salamence, Duskmane and Tabu Lele so what are we going to do here uh, the Lele again is a bit of a pain but I mean What's my opponent really do against the Mimikyu? Um, we could actually go... No, nah, we don't want to go Persian. We want to go just Snorlax. Um, Groudon. Do we want Zern here, though? Maybe. Nah. We'll go Salamence. It's weird when you've got a team with Xerneas and I'm very rarely bringing it. And Pika Trainer, how are you doing? Hope you're well. Thanks for joining us tonight. I uh, hope you're having a great day as well. My day is going good. We had some technical issues earlier with my broadband again, but it all seems to be fine now. So, fingers crossed it stays that way. And for the synthesis, I miss using Snorlax. Like I said, man, if you, if you, any of you guys would like a pace to this team after the stream, I will, I will pop one up on Twitter later on. Uh, when put, a, I'll do a poker paste of it so you guys can try it out, take it away, and have a little bit of fun with it as well. 
because I think it is it's got a lot of, I think the team probably needs tweaking a little bit I think um, but it's still it's still fun to play and I think it's got potential the real Manish and Lee we're both going XR and yeah <laughs> going well yeah XR yeah just we're just gonna do it because that's how we roll man easy only undefeated players in uh, EU internets it's uh First year that's probably happened. <laughs> Maybe the last year as well. Nick Double Primal, heavy trick room please. Zen is bad. Ah oh, we could do, yeah. Could do. Could throw could throw Kyle Grenade. You know the other thing I was thinking? Maybe throwing in was um it's just because Ivalto becomes a bit of an issue if you don't have the Zern, it kind of alleviates that a little bit. But I did think about Ultra Necrozma as well. I thought that could be could be good. Uh, so Lele, Groudon coming out for my opponent. Um Hmm. Z Destiny Bond or Trick Room? Hmm. Or just Z Move into the Lele. Z Move Lele. And and Belly Drum, yeah. Magic Room. Ha. Okay. Hmm. Magic room, you say. Kind of wasting the belly drum here. Hmm. Why did we never see magic room used in any of the other formats where it could have been really relevant? Like, we only really saw use of it at the start in the Sun series. Precipice Blades, it will hit. Um, we still have the Destiny Bond we could actually use the next turn. Uh, disguise is Brock. Belly Drum is going to cripple us now. We kind of needed to go below 50% so it failed here. Snorlax is done. Mm. Could we maneuver ourselves into a position where we can um, maybe get a Trick Room up and get Lax back in to recycle? And give it lease of life again. I don't know. I feel like that time has come and gone. Magic room, man. Okay. Hmm. I mean, what comes in now for my opponent? Probably the Dusk Man. Pika Trainer at 1 1. It might have been banned due to glitches. Isn't 100% fit. Ah, that's kind of true, actually. No point in setting up Trick Room for Lax. Nah, no point now. Um, oh. I mean, we go Z Des We go Destiny Bond for sure. I think probably better off just sacking. Ah, it's tricky now. Yeah, we're just better off sacking. Um, and try and get, try and get a high horsepower into the Groudon. I just fear as the oh the photon guys are into the mimicry here from the Ultra Necrozma. Hmm. Because I don't think we yeah we don't take this in the psychic screen. No way. And then the Z move the next turn, which is going to be. I mean, if they've went Precipice Blades and it misses, Snorlax could still do. Oh, how good would that have been? How good would that have been? <laughs> Okay, right, we don't get that. Mm. This becomes a bit tricky, my friends. Because the Z move into Mence is the big thing here, isn't it? That's what's going to happen. Maybe we get the Intimidate off onto the Groudon, which is nice. So we could press the Piss Blades. We'll knock it, Groudon. Hmm. Do I protect Mence though? I really do think that's where, because I think my opponent, like, I could be really cheeky and just press his blades. Um, Mega Evolve protect Mence, because I think that's where the Z move comes in. I really do. And will. What has Pokemon come to when Psychic Span actually requires a game plan? Yeah. I know, Psychic Spam's crazy strong now, isn't it? And Nick, for the random magic room, 
Thank you for the bits, my friend. Thank you for the bits. We'll see if we can come out of this hole. We're going to see this e-move here. I'll be into the Salamence. Uh, it might be into the Groudon, but I kind of expect it more in the Salamence. The speed control's there, so that's where you want to kind of put the stoppers on if you can. Real munition. So, you could read your Groudon Protect and attack men's with me. That's the overlay animation we need, isn't it? So there we go. Yeah, into the men's. You take that. Oh, well, I mean, that's crazy. The nuclear explosion. <sighs> Get the precipice blades. <sighs> that's why. Precipice blades is the worst. If we don't get the grout on. We're going to see precipice. Ooh, sword stance. Okay. Um, and diamond more than five. How are you doing? I hope you're well. Thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, oh. We could have done with that precipice blades hitting. Um, we'll go for the tailwind. Let's see if we can get it. Photon geyser. Are you into the salamence here? Yeah. Okay, you've probably got Earth Power on the the, um, the Ultra Necrozma though, so... Oh, come on! Okay, that's just that's not fair. Yeah, we would have got both if just Precipice Blades had been a little more accurate. Pretty good. Good to hear, mate. Yeah, I'm alright. Precipice Blades doing its thing right now for us, so... Good game to my opponent. Um, The Magic Room, totally screwed us there like um a uh, hundred percent sean how are you doing thanks for hopping into the stream with us all tonight i hope you're well and i hope you enjoy the rest of the stream with us this evening are you by any chance in berlin this weekend in 2017 i missed the precipice blades in 2019 <laughs> i do the same uh so whenever i use it will it's always the same you remember that really horrible run i had on the <laughs> the channel with it um was it in the sun series when i played groudon i think it was and um it was like every day the grind of just precipice blades doing precipice blades things you could just see the the progression of my demeanor just reducing every day until we like moved on to a new team and i was like a new man it's like yeah no more groudon let's get into this but yeah it's a horrible move and pick a trainer ticking down the last few minutes as work with stream in the background oh man i hope you've not got a lot like ticking down the minutes till you finish or taking down the minutes till you start and noah how are you doing i hope you're well mate thanks for joining us this evening and sean no i'm not oh that's a shame sean hopefully you can get to some events soon nick i should give give waited and love a best how are you doing thank you so much for joining us tonight and thank you so much for the bits as well hope you enjoy the stream with us for the rest of the evening got an next opponent and pick a journey you can't miss principal blades if you don't use it that's the thing i can't really have any excuses i got earth power on the ground on for that exact reason i was just being greedy greedy there so we've got Evelto kyoga Lele Incineroar, uh, this is like the James Beck team that he won the Daytona Regional with. So this will be an interesting game. See what we can do again. See how Mimilax can to match up to this. I don't know how well we're going to be able to do that. Uh, okay, we've got Mimikyu. Uh, obviously the, the Lele is a bit of a problem again. We might need to bait, bait in. Um, let's go Snorlax and let's go Groudon. Yeah, let's just lock in. Let's lock in and do this. I know, yeah, it was awesome. You know, I wish I'd realized at the time that you were on today's episode. Maybe you were, yeah. I wish I'd realized it was you at the time, you know. And then I could have given you the big shout out that you deserve. But it was a fun game, great game though. And uh, hopefully we can bump into you again soon so we can feature some more of your your mad skills. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Really nice to feature as well. And Food King going to start again in Sword and Shield. Kind of washed up at the moment. Haven't attended since February 2018. It's always nice to have a break though, mate. So it'll be good to see you back. And hopefully you enjoy the uh, the new format when it comes back around. Right. Okay. Mega Gengar. You're going to protect, right? Gengar? going to protect? I think so. Um, hmm. What's the stack attacker going to do? Is it going to gyro ball into us? Into Mimikyu? We're going to get doubled into. Uh, the Gengar could taunt us as well. Uh, I mean, one of the things we could potentially do is just go... Never ending nightmare into the Gengar. Get some damage off there and just fake out the stack attacker. I mean... 
it's pretty passive. But I mean, like, if we get away with getting rid of the Gengar here, it's, it's pretty big for us. Totally expect the Gengar just to protect, though. Wow. No protect. No protect on Gengar. Sludge Bomb. Yeah, going for the double up into the Mimikyu. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And Nick, Lee, would it be great where you find... You make a final build after two weeks and a best of three. That would be cool. That would be really cool. That would be re that's that would be a nice thing to do. Like on the channel, Nick. That would be. I'd love to do something like that. I think like incorporating that sort of stuff into the series. Like my big hope for Sword and Shield, really, for like content going forward, because it's so centered around best of three and like best of one practice. It's all well and good for testing a team, but it's not really relevant, like super relevant to a competitive circuit that's really all best of three. So my real hope for Sword and Shield is that they implement a best of three option on the battle spot ladder. That would be incredible. Um, and then it would like, so after a game you can you can message your opponent and say, do you wanna, do you wanna go best of three? Um, or you, there's just a best of three ladder where anyone you bump into you have a best of three with. I mean. It take a lot longer, but I think it would be so much more valuable for a competitive circuit. Um, and then you could also have a best of one ladder as well, so you've got both options. I don't know if it's even possible, but I mean, stuff like that would be amazing. And Galaxian God, thank you so much for the bits, my friend. Uh, okay, right, we've got Incineroar coming in. It's got the fake out. We're going to be gyro ball fodder at the minute. Um, hmm. Let's go into Groudon with uh, Mimikyu, we want to just keep that around for later and just parting shot out into the stack attack. I don't really mind if the trick room gets set up because it gives Snorlax a nice opportunity to kind of come in and start doing some work. And Fuking, do you reckon we won't get uh, events until Sudden Shield is out? I'll oh, get Ultra Series, some weird random format. I don't know, mate. It could be anything. We could get some weird random format. Um, if Kay is involved, I'm sure she would be thinking up something really cool because she came up with this whole format this year, which is incredible. And so maybe something like that. We may just see a progression of Ultra. Uh, who knows? But I don't think the format will officially change until... Well, it depends when the, the first international is, doesn't it? It really does. Uh, that will make a big difference because whenever that is, if they do a similar thing to like when Sun and Moon came out in 2017, and then they change the rules like super quick. They could do something like that. Um, but I, I don't really know. I don't really know, man. No, we'll just have to see what happens. But I don't think we'll get Sword and Shield events until after after the Christmas, after New Year. That would be my best guess, anyway. That would be. That would be. Yeah, yeah. So, and Lava Best, Ghostly Boy, Killing Ghostly Bro. I know, right? We're getting it, we're getting it. And Smith Skull, how are you doing? Thanks for joining us this evening. Hope you enjoy the stream of this all tonight. We're going to see the, the ogre come in. And we're going to see a trick room from the stack attacker. <clears throat> no, it's just gyro balling. Okay, into the lax. I mean, we, yeah, we don't mind that at all. Uh, okay. Do we bring in Mimikyu? Let's bring in Mims and go for high horsepower into the stacker. I don't really mind about the Kyogre at the minute because we've got the Groudon to come in and we've got plenty to deal with that once we can kind of reposition our weather. So we should be all right going forward. Um, that'd be good. Galaxian God, I'm hoping that in between this format and Sword and Shield we have VGC 18 again. I love that format last year. That would be a lot of fun. I'd love that. And Nick, I'm battling Toxic Shininja, man. <laughs> uh, that sounds fun. I battled a Shininja, right? What was it? Like two weeks ago, I was testing. I think it was before one of the, the last streams that we did. I was testing out stuff. And um, what was it? They entra yeah, entrainment, they went sturdy into it. So it obtained sturdy. And then... <clears throat> And then they nuzzled it, so I couldn't, I couldn't physically, I couldn't burn it because that was one of my outs. So it was paralyzed. It had sturdy, and um, then my only thinking was, okay, I know focus sash kind of acts against confusion, but does 
does the sturdy ability act if you hit yourself in confusion so there's like swagger in it so position myself into this 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 bold position where i could swagger it the misty terrain had gone it left me open to toxic which it was doing and uh, i got the swagger onto it three turns later it hits itself in confusion sturdy procs and i'm like oh my god and like by that time my timer was just all to pot there was no way of like timer stalling at all so Horrible thing to face. It was, yeah, it was pretty nasty. Um, okay, Kyogre's going to switch out here, I think. Um, one thing we could potentially do is switch. No, we could recycle here. Um, yeah, let's just enter Earth Power into the stack egg. Because if the stacker stays in, we take it down. I know we gave the Kyogre a free switch in by taking the stacker down. And then they got fake out the next turn. But it's not like should take a water spout from this range. Ooh, why God? Nice, 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 nice. Nice insight there, Lee. And I like everything you've done on your channel. Oh yeah, being a massive fan. Oh, thank you so much, Sean. That's really nice to you to say. That's uh, really nice to hear. And I hope you continue to enjoy the, the content, mate. We've got the recycle off uh, with the Snorlax. Get that figgy berry back or find it. Um, thick lax as well, and Lee. Chef Ray, Chef. Regs, yes, no, yes, yes, 100%, mate. <laughs> In Smith's skull, anyone wants a battle? Yes, come on, guys. If anyone's around, want to give Smith's skull a battle, hop on now. He is ready to go. Um, Will, if you don't have a uh, Sun Ninja or Ditto, or both, oh, both, you're bad. <laughs> Best of one. Do you mean an answer to those? Uh, we'll switch in Persian here. We need to get the weather control back. I'm kind of hoping the Incineroar fakes out Snorlax here. That would be incredible because that would proc a berry. Um, hmm. Did we get Greedy and go Belly Drum? I don't know if we do really. Uh, we could just return into the, the Kyogre, just get some damage off into it. I think it's probably the better thing to do. Or Will, do you mean if you don't have either a Shininja or a Ditter, you're, you're bad? Okay, here we go. We take it with Snorlax. No, we don't actually. Oh, this is not good. It's not so good. Okay, but it's not so bad either. Uh, and Sean, do you still get enough time to enter VGC tournaments? I haven't been at the minute, mate. No, uh, but I am planning on attending Bristol. Bristol will be in like two, three weeks time. So I've registered for it. Uh, I'm really pumped about playing because I've, I've missed playing competitively. Uh, for, for a really long time so like Berlin was never a possibility whatever was going on so um, Bristol's gonna be nice and it's kind of nice that it's in like my hometown now which is like really cool um, so yeah I'm looking forward to it and hopefully I can I can do something at the event it would be really nice to be able to do something uh, so can we get the incineral yes we should be able to beat the Kyogre I'm hoping with Presbyterian Blades um, and the FL regs MSS was best of one Swiss and I didn't use shed ditto. I made it to the finals this past week. Nice Nice, you see Will? Don't <laughs> that face just says it all uh, Okay, P blades. We've got to just hope haven't we now that they hit One hits all we need is one more. We might get away with an earth but mm, Nah, we need another one ice beam. What's this doing? Is this a three hit? Yeah, we're good, we're good. We just we can afford one miss, not two. But we don't even get one, so that's good. Okay. Uh, and good luck, where is Christopher Arthur? He's, I haven't heard from Chris in a long time, man. No, I don't know. I, I know the last I heard Chris was playing uh, League of Legends, so I'd imagine he's probably mastering that right now. But yeah, it's a shame he doesn't play Pokemon anymore. It is a shame, but uh, he might come back. You never know. Sword and, Sword and Shield coming out. And Nick, I hate Shininja. Yeah. There's a part of me that doesn't like playing it, but there's a part of me that kind of likes it. It's like a real sadistic side of me, I feel. <laughs> I feel wrong saying that. Clip that bit. I really like Shininja. But no, I do kind. Of, I kind of like Shininja. I do. I like its utility. I I always enjoy playing it when I play it. Uh, the ring of the mission is a type of player that I'll secretly play Shininja off stream. <laughs> yeah, just like all the time. Just yeah, just streams over. Right, get the Shininja team out. Come on, Ditto, get out. Come on, boys. Let's go for a party. Yeah. I'm. Uh, no, I, I don't do that. But I do have a lot of fun playing Shininja. 
but who knows? Who knows if I secretly play Shininja under a different on a different cart under a different alt that would no one would ever know it was me. I'm not giving anything away. <laughs> and that's right, Krim. 100 percent Okay, we got buck up. And guys, probably this one's going to have to be the last one of the evening. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to shoot off after this. But um, it's been a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can get a good win. We've got Buck up next. He is playing an X-ray team. Uh, so, it is that kind of standard X-ray team. You're looking at Rayquaza, Landorus, the Xerneas, Incineroar, Tapafini, and Amoongus. Probably looking at Sash, Rayquaza with Sword Stance. You can't discount that it could be banded. But I think with the kind of build that we're looking at, it's probably not banded. Um, you're probably looking at just a sash variant. So the sword stance there is going to be the big thing. Um, <clears throat> right. I think Persian's decent. <laughs> Persian Mimikyu could be good. Could be good. Do we want... We want, I kind of want to bring Xerneas here, but the, I kind of don't as well. And the thing is, the Amoongus does make it a little bit trickier. Going for the Trick Room. I could just go Persian Xerneas for this last one. Let's not bring Snorlax on Mimikyu and go Salamence, Groudon, and see how we can get on there. Because I feel like that could potentially do some work. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see. And well, I'm that guy because I'm evil and like winning. This is true. If you if you want to win, Ditto Shininja on every team. Lava Burst. I faced a lot of banded rays at the Daytona MSS. One was banded with Earth Power for cover. Wow. Okay, that's crazy. Like banded ray is like a big thing at the moment. Um, I do think it's. I think you need specific text against it. Like I'm not massively fond of like the builds that are going around at the minute not to say that they're like bad because they're obviously really good and effective and doing really well but i think there's better ways to play banded rain support it like serena i am a bit a huge advocate of serena in this format but i think with banded ray serena does an incredible job you've got the the protection from priority so you've got that 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 quick you can just get the attacks off when you need to. You've got help and hand to support that alleviates intimidate. You've got faint so you can get around protect. And then pair Serena with Crobat. I don't know how you build the rest of the team around it, but I just think that core three with the support around the band is just, yeah, really good. But who knows? Someone might put something together with it. Uh, we're going to see Amoongus and Xerneas come out for my opponent. Um, hmm. What do we want to do? Do we want to... We, I, we have to taunt... We have to taunt the Amoongus. Pretty much. Hmm. But I kind of want to taunt the Xerneas. And just, if we see a rich... Huh. I'm going to taunt... I'm going to taunt the Amoongus. And I'm going to Geomancy. No, I'm just going to protect. Because I run out of time. Again. Ah. Xerneas protects. Okay. Please let the other Xerneas protect. Oh, this is like... This has gone from bad to worse. From bad to worst, bad. Okay, Dazzling Gleam. I mean, we get away with that. So, I mean, we shouldn't be getting away with this. Okay. Really shouldn't be getting away with this at all. Okay, Smog. Okay. Okay, let's bring in Groudon. And Banded Ray is super scary, isn't it? I beat all the ones I faced, but it never really gets any easier now nah, it definitely doesn't it's the bit where you kind of like is it banded or is it not like i've, I've intimidated it but it should i should survive and then it's like dragon ascent knockout and you're like that's ah, bad yeah that's banned it's like oh and it's so hard to play like in best of one as well it's so much more difficult to actually play around full eruption and we will <sighs> I mean, we have to Geomancy here just to keep up because the opposing zone is definitely Geomancy's, I think. Like, Amoongus probably switches out to Ray. Okay. Yeah, I just... Yeah, we're going to... Um, I wonder if it's... If that's Sashed Amoongus, though, that could be... That could be the tipping point for us. 100%. Let's see. Let's see. 
Oh, actually outspeeding the Xerneas, so we'll get some nice damage there. Yay, we don't... No, no Sash Amoongus. I know Sash has been something that's been played in Japan. Like, max speed, timid. Like, no joke. Like, max speed, timid Amoongus. Japanese players. I do see the utility in it, though. It is good. You know, I, I came so close to running that in, like, 2015. Like, max speed, timid Amoongus. To get around so many things in the format at the time. But I never actually did run it. But, yeah. No, I think it, it could potentially be good. And Sean, what uh, what you most wanting from Sword and Shield Lee? What path would you want the games to go down? This could lead to any sort of possibilities, right? Oh, I don't know, Sean. I think I think personally, I think more competitive stuff, um, like having a facility that is like where you can use rental Pokemon on the battle spot. I think that would be amazing and like tweak them, EV them and stuff like that. It makes testing a lot easier. I think something, a facility like that would be my big hope for sure. That would be the big one. But outside of that storyline, I just think um, have a different ending leap for. I did like a little video on, on, on the channel about like what my big hopes were. The kind of like a lot of those but there's like lots of other stuff as well but i'm just i'm really excited for it i mean playing on the switch is going to be incredible uh i think the switch is like my favorite nintendo console since like the the n64 which is it's just so much fun i love it i honestly do uh, we're going to see the rayquaza burst out and obviously the amoongus being not sashed means that the rayquaza probably is like we kind of suspected at the start Love this. At least once it's locked into a scent, it cannot really hit stack. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, very true. So yeah, there's a sash on the the ray. We knew outspeed in the opposing Xerneas because he kind of had the two speed ties there. Where we, well, the one speed tie. You know. Ooh. I kind of don't agree with that really too much. I think you have to drag an ascent the Xerneas here, um, or you at least protect, sack your your zone potentially having. I don't know, Incineroar in the back to come in and help you set that sword stance up. But it is difficult at this point as well. So, And Sasha Moongus forces double downs and you get a free setup. Yeah, especially like so on this sort of team, it's like perfect, isn't it? Uh, the ladder's coming in. And Sean, would you want a showdown incorporated type mode? And so, like, if you could have that online, yeah, I 100% would like something like that. Uh, we'll just eruption again and we blast and that should be game um, and real mission hi I went to the bathroom and what happened Um we played geomancy Xerneas for our last game of the evening my friend we kind of nearly got punished but it worked out all right actually in the end by taunting the Amoongus and then timing out and protecting with our Xerneas turn one our opponent didn't go for the Geomancy, just went for the Dazzling Gleam to get rid of the Persian, and then from there it's kind of been a little bit easy because uh, the, the Ray went for the Sword Stance rather than the attack into the, the zone that last turn. And we, uh, we wrapped things up with Buck, so it's been, yeah, really good. So, good game to Buck, and um, that wraps it up for tonight, guys. At least we've had a nice little run now since the we had our little crash earlier, um, and we've had a bit of a run. So, what I'm going to say, guys, is Saturday morning, depending on the schedule of the uh, European International Championship stream, if it's on early, I'm not going to stream. But if it's not on early and it starts a little later, I will stream in the morning. So I will see you then. But I will tweet out. If you guys want the pace of this team, let me know. And my thank you message to all of you when I tweet out in a moment to say thanks for coming by tonight. Um... If you'd like the pace of the team, I'll put it together, I'll tweet it out, and you guys can try it out. It's a lot of fun. Memilax is something, don't forget about it in 19. Definitely not. It's, uh, it's got a lot, of, it's got a bit of potential, I think, and it's a lot of fun, if nothing else. So, um, thank you so much to each and every one of you for coming out tonight. Have a great weekend if I don't speak to you till next week. We'll be back next Tuesday, if not Saturday. Um, enjoy Berlin internationals yeah the stream so and just have a great weekend everyone thank you so much for coming out and uh, i'll see you all next week so take it easy guys bye bye bye